Hey guys, welcome back in CodeSphere. So today in this video, I will show you that how you can store a spinner value in Firebase database. So guys, as you can see on the screen that when I will choose the value Jupiter and I will click on the button save. So you can see that there is a third child created of name planets and here you can see the value of Jupiter. Fine. And if you will choose any other value like uh, Mars and you will click on the button. So yeah, you can see this is a fourth child of name Mars. So guys today in this video i will show you that how we can do this how we can implement this so without wasting time let's start so guys uh, as you can see on the screen that this is activity underscore xml file so what is the first thing that here you need to do is uh, let me show you the dependency that you have to add in your gradle for uh, saving data so you can see that this is firebase database dependency and you have to add this in your gradle build for uh, saving data fine then click on the button sync now then guys come back to this main java sorry main xml so here we will use a text view and uh, that will be simply let me make this constant layout linear layout linear layout then it will be easy and then orientation will be vertical yeah and uh, gravity should be center so guys now here we are going to use a text view fine with match parent oops let me make it correct with match parent height wrap content and then text will be planet fine then id that uh, tv underscore planets fine then text color should be i think uh, yeah black will be fine so text size will be 30 sp easily visible fine guys then text alignment will be again in center done then close it fine so guys now after this we are going to use a spinner and uh, that will be 50 dp fine then that will be also 50 dp and uh, then id id is going to be we can say yeah spinner will be fine close it done then uh, let me give it some so i will give it margin that will be margin top and uh, that is going to be 30 dp will be fine i think so yeah so guys after this here we are going to use a button a simple button fine and that will be height will be match parent yeah. and uh, width will be match parent height will be wrap content fine then text will be save done then little bit of margin that will be 10 dp yeah so after this close it so now you can see that our xml file is almost complete fine so yeah you can see that we have this text view spinner and a button and we have given the ids correctly so it's time to go in this main to george java and so guys uh, now it's time to create a one more class and simply click on this package and then new then java class and that will be member and uh, guys we are going to make it uh, simply give it a string that is going to be private string and that will be planets fine then semicolon then a uh, public i think we need a constructor yeah it is required for firebase database that is why i'm making it here and uh, after this guys you have to simply choose this uh, string then alt plus insert then getter and setters then control plus uh, a then enter fine so let me just cut this from here and we will paste it after this be fine so guys that is all for this member.java so it's time to back it's time to come back in this directory to our java and guys first of all what here we are going to do is uh, we are just using a simple spinner so we have to implement adapter view implements adapter view and uh, that will be adapter view dot on item selected listener fine then it will show an error click on this red bulb then implement methods fine then enter so now you can see that we got these two methods on item selected and on the thing selected so guys inside this on item selected we will code 
that what will happen when the user will choose any value and inside it we can simply show a toast message that you have to select a value fine so guys after this you have to declare some variables so first thing for button that will be simple button yeah then spinner simple spinner done then for uh, text view simple text view done then database reference for firebase then database reference fine guys then we need a string and string will be item it will hold the value of spinner fine guys then member yeah so member semicolon and then guys here we are going to create an array of strings yeah so simply give it name planets equals to and we will give the values so guys our first value will be choose planets and you may be thinking that why i'm giving it guys it will be as a default or you can say it will work as a null value when the user will choose nothing so it will show on the top and uh, if the user will click on the button so it will show a toast message how i will explain it later fine so just watch this video till this till last it will be very easy and you can understand more fine then third planet will be venus i'm just taking few planets because uh, i don't know the name of all the planets i mean i know but i don't remember mars then jupiter yeah it is fine for the demo so guys now you can see that we have created the array fine so now it's time to go inside this on create and now we will give reference for all of them fine so simply write text view equals to find view by id arc dot id dot tv planets then semicolon then for button button equals to find view by id r dot id dot i think uh, what is the id of button let me check so we have not given any id so simply give it id and uh, that will be id button underscore save go back in even activity dot java and uh, button save then semicolon fine guys so now after this you have to write firebase database then database equals to firebase database dot get instance then semicolon then database reference equals to database not reference we need database dot catch reference and inside that reference we will create a child of name value so guys what it will do it will create a child in firebase database and uh, that child will be of name value and inside that value we will save all our data fine so it's time for uh, spinner r dot id dot spinner then semicolon so yeah it's time for spinner dot set on item selected listeners and pass this yeah so you can see that guys we are already implementing here on item selected listener so that is why we have to write this line for implementing it fine guys so now it's time to code inside that what will happen when the user will click on the button fine but uh, just before this we are we have to initialize the member class and also the array so simply write member class done then guys here we will create array adapter and that will be array adapter equals to new array adapter then we will pass this inside it then comma then android and guys you have to type this line fully because android studio will not suggest you maybe it can suggest but sometimes it don't drop down item fine then guys you have to simply write comma then planets then semicolon and then again array adapter and that will be dot set drop down resource and that is going to be again android done then dot then r then dot that will be layout and that is going to be dot simple spinner drop down item then guys so now you can see that spinner dot set adapter we have to fix it simply pass array adapter inside it then guys yeah so now what we need to do fine so guys yeah now we'll go inside this on item selected so guys when the user will click on it then what we will do we will simply get the value fine so how can we get the value simply write the spinner i mean the string that we defined above 
item then spinner dot get item selected dot to string it will get the value fine guys then simply text view dot set text and that will be item fine guys yeah so now we have to implement set on click listener for the button so again go back in this uh, on create and simply write button dot set on click listener method then new then on click listener method fine and uh, here we will simply create a method and that will be save value and we will pass the parameter of that string of name item fine guys so now when the user will select nothing i can you can you can do code inside it yeah i'm just leaving it so guys now it's time to create a method so simply write void that will be save data save value i mean fine and uh, we are going to give the same string item then guys yeah so what you will do is uh, that if uh, item equals to so it's one thing that you have to make sure that if the item is equals to this value choose planets then what will happen nothing will happen yeah it will show a toast message that guys please select a value fine so simply paste it here so when the value will not be equal to the when the value is not equal to the choose planets then the user will be able to save the value and if the value of that spinner item will be equal to this then nothing will happen we will show a toast message then please select a planet fine so please select a planet done guys and if it is not equals to choose planets then what we will do is simply write member dot set planets that will be item done then simply write string id equals to database reference dot push dot get key it will push the push the child every time fine guys then simply write database reference dot child and the child will be id done and we will set the value of that member class yeah so it's now you can see that our coding part is almost complete let me show a toast that value saved done so guys now our coding part is almost complete and uh, i don't think that we should have any error so let me run this app and uh, you can see that the greater build is running so guys in case if you get any error then let me know in comment section i will try to reply in next 24 hours yes guys so So guys now you can see that the app is launched successfully and uh, there is no error so guys you can see that our default our default value is choose planets and if i will click on the button save value so it will show a toast message please select a planet it means that it is working as a null value fine guys so if i will choose any other value like uh, earth and i will click on the button save so value saved and a child is created here of name will value and you can see that its value is earth so you can see that our app is working absolutely fine and guys if you will change this to mercury and you will click on the button save again so you can see that the child is pushed yeah so now we have mercury so i hope you like this tutorial this tutorial helped you so guys please like share and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos of firebase and android development in future thank you for watching